Hello and welcome back to our Pokemon Gold Sigma Nuzlocke. This is part 25. In this episode, we are here in Mahogany Town, ready to go ahead and start making our way along the ice path to Blackfall City for our final gym. Team Rocket has been disbanded, and we even did a couple of things in between episodes. First of all, I put some items on our Pokemon. Our team was uh, very barren in terms of items, so I decided to put what we had onto some Pokemon. By no means are they great items. We don't have anything crazy like choice items, but maybe they'll help us out in a couple of situations. So, first things first, we have ourselves a smoke ball on Caviar, because Caviar is, um... Yeah, Caviar sucks, so we have a smoke ball so we can run away from things. Okay. <laughs> we have ourselves a Quick Claw on Slowbro, because, uh, as the name implies, it's pretty slow, so it's a pretty useful item. We also have ourselves a Quick Claw on Ampharos, because it's, uh, it's not the fastest Pokémon, and sometimes, you know, it might be useful to go first. You never know, though. Uh, static might make this completely redundant, but for the most part, the Quick Claw might be useful. Uh, we have ourselves a Lucky Egg on this Sylveon, so it can become nice and powerful, and it can cosmic power and just be very defensive and very, very useful. Gengar currently doesn't have an item because there's nothing that really fits for it, and we have the Amulet Coin on Golem. Now, the other thing that I did in between episodes was... I went through 41. I was curious to see if I could get an encounter. I wasn't going to go for an encounter there, but I was curious to see if I could get an encounter. I couldn't, but while I battled a couple of trainers there, I did find something very, very interesting. So we're going to start off the episode with this. Uh, before I go over there, I am just going to do one quick little check. Uh, we do have a fair amount of Pokeballs, so that's fine. Uh, so if this isn't a tentacle, this is our encounter, but I mean, I've only seen tentacles so far. So until we get a super on, I'm pretty sure we can't get an encounter here. Kind of sucks. But at the same time, it's fine. I, that smoke ball animation scared me a little bit because I haven't seen it yet. That actually intimidated me. But I saw this guy. That's cool. Go away. Come on. We're, we're trying to look at the, the, the pretty doggo. Okay. I saw this guy. So, this is incredibly random positioning for a Raikou. Okay, let me explain. I don't understand how it got here because it's in the ocean and it's an electric type. But... Raikou is here, and we haven't actually encountered a Legendary yet. We don't have the Master Ball, and we probably won't pick up the Master Ball until we beat- I believe we get it after we defeat the 8th Gym uh, from Professor Elm. So, we can go to Ecrotique, and we can go to the Tin Tower, or whatever it's called, uh, go catch Ra Rainbow Guy, whatever, but that, uh, that's gonna be on a little bit of a, uh, gonna be a little bit put off for a little bit until we get the Master Ball, because I kind of want to just Master Ball it and call it a day. We'll see. For now, though, we're gonna go ahead. We're gonna actually try and catch this Raikou, so we'll see how this goes. Oh. Oh. Oh, okay. Oh, I see. You know, my, my voice was stuttering and everything because I was nervous about trying to catch this, and it's it just disappears. Well. Yep. That's, uh, that's a bit underwhelming. Looks like this episode we're going down Ice Path and uh, nothing else is happening. <laughs> I was so ready to try and catch that for like a good 10 minutes. Okay, right, anyway. Uh, I believe we already went into this house. Oh yeah, the suit sack guy. <gasps> we can go and do the suit sack stuff. That's gonna be amazing. Okay, um, you know what? We're just gonna go ahead. What? What? Huh? Dude, are you okay? Dude. I, I'm just gonna... You know what? Caviar can stay in front. Um... Hello, Carlos. How's it going so far? I want Professor Elm's assistance. I see that. Why are you so confused, my dude? He wants me to give you this. Obtain the... Obtain the what now? Obtain the what now? Obtain, obtain, obtain the Mega Bracelet. Okay. Okay, that's, yeah, yeah, yeah. Use that to Mega Evolve your Pokemon into new forms. Okay, okay, will do. Yeah, sounds good, buddy. Mega Evolution affects only some Pokemon. It's indeed an upgrade. In order to use it, you need to let your Pokemon hold a Mega Stone. There are two kinds. Oh, we finally get the explanation as to the kinds. Then just press start. Oh, no, we don't. Okay, never mind. <laughs> then just press start to activate and choose any attack. If you can't Mega Evolve, check to see if your Pokemon is holding a... I gotta go. Professor Elm is waiting. No, you can't just gloss over that part. You know what? I just put all these items onto my Pokemon. Scratch that. Uh, change plan. We're gonna give Megastone A to 
We have three Pokemon that can Mega Evolve. First of all, we have Gengar. Second of all, we have Ampharos. And third of all, we have ourselves Slowbro. I just went and put the Quick Claws on them and they're already being stripped away. Yes, I'm going to put Mega Stones on all of them. I obviously know that I can't Mega Evolve all three at once. But I do want to see all of their Mega Forms from behind just because I can. That sounds a little bit weird. Um, I do want to see all of their Mega Forms though. I'm going to win for sure. Also, I want to check and see if each of the Mega Forms has the ability I expect it to. So we're going to start off with Gengar, because it's a Mega Gengar, let's be honest. So what, I just press start? Oh, it, it did the beep beep. It did the beep beep, guys. It did the beep beep. What the? Is this thing a Mew? Ah, uh, I... I'm, I'm slightly questioning what I just heard. Uh, but okay. Okay. You know, I want to go and check out the Pokemon. Uh, I want to look at its ability. I want to look at its stats. So we should have Shadow Tag, right? Oh, uh, we have Calm Nature. That cry is weird. I'm not 100% sure what that is. It sounds a little bit like an unknown. I'm not 100% sure. Uh, it has Shadow Tag, which uh, I guess is fine. I mean, to be honest, it's it's probably better than Cursed Body, so that's something. It's not the Levitate I want, though. Uh, it's, it gets to 168 special attack. For comparison, our Slowbro has 106, our Ampharos has 133. Our Ampharos with no special moves, mind you. Uh, our Silver has 134. That's actually very high. So, it's, it's got a lot of special attack and a lot of speed. Okay, okay. We are going to go through each of the Megas and have a look at them. Uh, we should have no way of this Kadabra outspeeding us, and we should absolutely one-shot him. So that is amazing. I, I was wondering when we were going to get this Mega Stone. I think I actually brought it up just last episode. So, uh, foreshadowing really happened. <laughs> Now, another thing we have in this episode is we have the Suit Sack, and uh, we're going to put Ampharos in front because it can catch any Pokemon. Let's see what our encounter is going to be for this route as well. And we're also going to start getting some Soot in our Soot Sack so we can see what the Soot Sack guy sells. Bellsprout. Okay. Okay, buddy. Bellsprout, huh? That's, uh, that's what we get on the route that I was going to assume was going to be full of Ice types. We're going to get a Bellsprout. Okay. Do you have a cherry berry? You have a lumberry? Kind of jealous, actually. I, I wouldn't mind having lumberries, but okay, okay, that's fine. Uh, I guess it's worth catching because one of the problems I did have. Also, I haven't mega evolved this Pokemon yet. I meant to do that. One of the problems I did have was uh, we couldn't evolve our execute. At least Bell Sprout will be evolvable. Actually, will it? I don't remember how Weeping Bell evolves right now. My brain is doing that thing where it just sort of stops working. Uh, I am going to Mega Evolve and Thunder Wave again. I know I can't paralyze this Pokemon twice, obviously. I just want to see its stats. And uh, I'm not 100% sure. Again, that sounds like I'm not. I'm not 100% sure that this Bellsprout can live any move that we go for. So we're just going to go ahead, have a quick look at its stats, have a quick look at its ability and all that. We should have Mold Breaker, I believe. Bold Nature, Electric Dragon Typing, we do have Mold Breaker, which I, uh... Is that... Is that helpful at all on Ampharos? I really don't feel like it is. I mean, I guess we go through Lightning Rod? Right? So, like, that, if there's a Sea King with Lightning Rod, we can go through its ability and hit it with an Electric Type move, maybe? That... Eh, it's not amazing. 176 Special Attack, though, that is respectable. If only we had a, uh, a, a special move. <laughs> if, uh, if only we had a move that could utilize it, that'd be great. But we don't, so that's unfortunate. Either way, we're going to catch ourselves a Bellsprout. What do we call a Bellsprout? The obvious food choice would be Sprout, right? It would. So we definitely can't go with that, because that would make too much sense. Uh, instead, we should go with whatever is the... Actually, Mandrake. That's a food. Kinda. Yeah. 
Plus it sounds really menacing, to be honest. Think of drakes, or I think of dragons. Sounds terrifying. Bellsprout, you know, closely related to dragons in a lot of ways. Uh, trust me on that one. We get ourselves a second fairy dust. That's a respectable thing to get, and we're gonna put Slowbro in front so that we can go ahead and use ourselves our last evolution. Mega evolution, that is. Ak, you made me lose a polywag. What are you going to do about it? I'm gonna mega evolve in your face and fling your Pokemon against a wall with uh, with Psychic. Which is pretty aggressive, I'll admit. And I don't think I'm a good person for it. But I want to see your Poliwhirl fly. And I want to see what this Slowbro can do. It does, it's, is it gonna have Regenerator? Or is Regenerator before it evolves? Is Regenerator one of its other abilities? Is it... Is it Shell Armor? It might be Shell Armor. That would make sense, considering... Yeah, it's probably Shell Armor. Yeah... Yeah, it, it is, isn't it? Okay, I, I've got to remember all the Mega Evolution's abilities. I haven't used the Mega Evolution's for in so long, because I haven't played Pokemon Showdown in so long. Shell Armor, yeah, okay. That is my favorite ability to have in a slot. Absolutely, without a doubt, a hundred times better than any other ability, in my opinion. That is fantastic. Other than, like, Sturdy in Gen 4 and beyond, that's a pretty good ability, too. But that, that's a really good ability. If we can get Calm Mind, and we can't be crit, I'm almost certain we have an unstoppable Pokemon. Like, I don't think anything is going to take out this Slowbro if we manage to get Calm Mind. So that is absolutely what we are aiming for. We will happily replace Shadow Ball for, for Calm Mind when we get to it. Still, I am really, really happy that we got all of these Mega Things before the 8th gym. At least we finally got them. I was starting to wonder if we were going to get them. I really, really was. So that's good. Uh, Horn Attack isn't going to do too much. Shadow Ball will take out the Sea King. And with that, we have Mega Evolved all of these Pokemon. We have checked out all of their abilities. Uh, I didn't check out, like, this Pokemon's defense, or I didn't look at it that well, but... We know it's high. It, we don't need to know the number. Uh, right then. Who wants to keep their Mega Stone? Gengar is definitely keeping the Mega Stone because it doesn't really use. In fact, should everyone just keep it? Let's be honest, is a Quick Claw really worth it over potentially Mega Evolving? No, it's it's just not. We're going to put Caviar in front because it looks like there's a Fighting type trainer down here. Battle me. I heard that a red Gyarados appeared at the lake. That's odd since even ordinary Gyarados are rare in that lake. I wouldn't say that they are rare in that lake, considering we encountered one while we were there. But okay, buddy. Uh, I am also still curious as to what other Pokemon I can find over here. What could I have had? I could have had a Ralts. Okay, that would have been great. I could have had a Mega Gallade. And I got a Bellsprout. You've got to be kidding me. You have got to be kidding me. I could have had a Mega Gallade. I love Mega Gallade. Mega God of War is great too. Oh, come on. I got a Bellsprout when I can... Okay, uh, right on. Well, that's awkward. I don't really want to stay in here. That's fine. We're just going to swap right out of there. I can't believe we got this Bellsprout. I really can't. I'm so sad. To be fair, Ralts is a rarer Pokemon. It makes sense that, you know, we don't get the super rare Pokemon. Did you just find all five Fury attacks on me? We're Mega Evolving in your face for that, okay? We're just gonna go ahead and Mega Evolve on everyone. That's all I want to do right now. Wait, so if I have Mega Evolution, does that mean that the next gym might have Mega Evolution? And all our rivals from here on will have Mega Evolution? Oh, that's a little bit, uh... That's a little bit manga. I don't like that. Uh, that makes me a little bit nervous. Oh no. Uh, who would have... Well, so what do we have? We have, like... I don't remember Brendan's team at all. I know Zinnia can have, like, Mega Rayquaza, Mega Salamence, etc., which is scary. Uh, what did, what did our other rivals have? Onion had... Onion, Onion had weird Pokemon. I don't think anything on his team is going to Mega Evolve. Delibert, I can't fight that. Why would you make me fight that? I don't want to fight that. 
Look at him, he's great. I don't want to fight the deli, but... I'm gonna feel so gilly if he tries to heal me. You know what, deli bud? I'm gonna go for pursuit. I'm gonna give you one chance. I just want to see your intentions. If you attack me, deli bud, I'm not gonna feel guilty about this. Okay, deli bud, you know what? I don't feel guilty anymore, okay? I thought maybe you would heal me, and in that case, I'd be like, oh, I don't want to injure him. But you know what, deli bud? You suck. Give me your bonus XP. Give me it. 1,520 XP. Ooh, your Pokemon is so appealing. Okay, buddy, calm down. I, you know what, I'll trade. I'll trade you for the Deli Bud. If the Pokemon has different colors from usual, it's more valuable. I, I would argue that's true. What, you mean that's not true? I'd argue that's true. You know, actually, I, uh, my dude. Hey, uh, you want a head of shiny Caterpie? A head that is made of pure gold, like a nugget. You want to you trade? You want to trade, buddy? You want to... My nugget for your deli bud. I mean, I'll do it. I'll do it. What do you say? No one has to know. We just sit behind these trees here, buddy. We, <laughs> let's, let's just do the trade, buddy. Come on now. Come on now. Nope. Okay, right. You suck. You suck, dude. You absolutely suck. Okay. I would happily trade for a deli bud. Absolutely. Without a doubt in my mind, I would do that trade. Speaking of deli bud, one time I found a very, very, very disturbing image of a deli bud that had been sort of morphed, almost like a transformer, into a full-length truck while trying to keep it looking as much like a deli bird as possible. And I will admit, it, it, it still scares me to this day that I saw that. But I just want everyone to imagine that. A little bit like Optimus Prime, but it's a deli bird. You know, it's, uh, it's kind of weird. It's kind of weird to think about, and uh, now I'm going to make all of you think about it, because that's a horrible thing to do, and it kind of makes me laugh inside about everyone imagining a different form of truck deli bird. It was delivering presents, okay, so there was a reason for it. It tried to have a theme, it was just really, really weird, and I wish I'd never seen it, to be truly honest, but yeah. I don't know where that story is going. On a more positive note, I really like the way that Drill Peck sort of goes all the way around the spiral of Polywell's belly. That makes me happy. That makes my OCD kind of happy. The only thing that could make that better is if it started exactly where the spiral started and like followed it around. That'd be great. Does Poliwag and Polyraff have the exact same spiral or is there a slight difference? Like, is there any one of them that has the spiral start at the top? Because if so, I want to drill peck them. I absolutely want to drill peck them. If we ever come up against a polyrath, I will try and remember to use Pharaoh so that we can see if the drill peck follows the spiral. I will genuinely do that for the sake of my OCD. I don't care if my Sylveon has like five cosmic powers up. I will swap into the Pharaoh just to see. Okay, I'll do it. Uh, I am still curious about what else we could find here. Obviously, we can't catch it, but we're also filling up our suit sack. Let's not forget that. Uh, Bell Sparrow. Okay. 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 Uh, definitely not what I'm interested in. I'm interested in seeing anything else. See, look at this. Smoke ball coming in useful, kind of. Useful is debatable, uh, I'll admit. Useful is debatable. We could probably run from these Pokemon without it, but still. We could have had a Tangler. Tangrowth is a Pokemon that I appreciate is not bad but I don't want to have. I think I would rather have it than a Bellsprout though. Stantler, which would have been dupes, so I mean, we couldn't have encountered that. There's not any ice types. I guess we're collecting the suit sack, so I guess it's not ice as such. I figured it was ice though. I guess it's ash, is there a volcano nearby? So we haven't seen any fire types. We've just seen standard grass types. I, I take everything back. There is a snow, but we could have had a mega Obama snow or a mega God of War. Or a Mega Gallade. Just think about that. Just think about that. What else could we have found? Any other Megas you want to throw at us? Thankfully, Tango doesn't, Tangela doesn't have any Megas. I'm going to speed this up a little bit. I'm actually curious. What else could we have found? Is there anything rare here? Statler. Swinub would have been amazing to have. We could have had a Mamoswine. Oh boy. I would have loved to have a Mamoswine. Bellsprout, I'm gonna assume that's about everything. We'll go for like three more from here. 
Snova, that's one. Bellsprout, that's two. Swine up, that's three. Okay. We could have definitely had some good Pokemon there. But no, we got a Bellsprout. Unfortunate, but what are you gonna do? Wow, you have a lot of badges, no wonder you're so tough. Wait, I already battled this dude. Okay. It's fruit bag tree. Hey, it's a Pamtra Berry. I I don't think I've ever read that before. Is that actually a berry? Is that is that a berry? I don't I have no idea what that does. I bet it makes my Pokemon immortal if they eat it. I reckon that's what it is. Okay, caveat, you are not the Pokemon to lead with right now. Instead, we are gonna go into... Taco, I guess, because there's not really anyone else we have to deal with an electric type. Light Scream. Interesting. We'll see how that uh, stacks up against an earthquake. You know, I, I feel like it's got a, a good shot of surviving, you know? I take that back, never mind, okay. Okay, he tried. I respect that, that's fine. Bell Blossom, see, if I had just gone ahead and used the Sunstone on that Gloom, I could have had the Leaf Stone, I could have had an Executor right now with good stats. I still kind of regret that, because I don't know if we can even get another Leaf Stone. Because I did look up stone locations before. Just a couple anyway, basically just uh, the sunstone and the leaf stone. So I don't think there's any other leaf stone available in this game. Maybe if you do that contest thing. Do I actually need rock smash? Oh, uh, I don't think we have anyone with it. Um. Oh, and the one Pokemon I would be okay with teaching Rock Smash can't learn Rock Smash. Perfect. Okay, right, that's great. Uh, what we could do... For example, we have moves like uh, Strength on Ampharos and like Fire Punch and stuff. We just get rid of that incredibly temporarily. Yeah, we can do that. Ampharos, you learn Rock Smash and then we'll just teach you the move back. That's fine. We just get rid of, like, uh, Fire Punch for now, because we always have the TM for it. And that's fine, because we can just, you know, swap it back once we've broken the rock. Sounds good to me. Okay. I do just want to double check that I have the TM, and that will work, right? Fire Punch. Use. Ampharos. It should do. Yeah, that seems like it'll work. Okay. That's fine. That's fine. To be honest, that's the thing we can really exploit at the Elite Four. Like, we can just optimize everyone's moveset for the Elite Four before we go into each one. It's kind of petty, and I'm probably not going to do it. But if things really, really look bad, that is something we can do. Is this a status game counter, technically? Eh, it doesn't matter. It's dupes anyway. I don't know if that would be classified as a status encounter. I don't think it is. Actually, no, it's definitely not. It's not a guaranteed encounter. Well, I mean, it might be. I don't know. That rock might be there for a reason. Uh, Zinnia is standing right there. That's... Uh, well, we have we have this person beforehand, so we'll battle this guy first. Do you know about the legendary bird Pokemon? Honestly? No. Not a clue. I don't know if he's... Mainly because I don't know if he's talking about the three legendary birds of uh, Articuno, Zapdos, Moltres. Or if he's talking about Rainbow Guy and Waterfall Dude. I have no I have no idea which which ones he's talking about. Um he could be talking about any, I have no idea. Pidgeotto, okay, well for that we have ourselves a Mega Ampharos, so we are good to go. You know, he's probably just talking about some random Pidgey that he kinda liked. You know, it had stats just slightly above average, and was like, wow, that's a legendary. He probably isn't even talking about anyone interesting like that. Unfortunate. Unfortunate. I don't know why it makes the unknown noise. That's such a strange noise to make. Are unknowns involved in Mega Evolving Pokemon? Find out next episode, in the next episode of uh, Dragon Ball Z. Yep, that's where it's going to be found out. Ooh, your hot stuff. Like, as hot as a Moltres? Which birds are you talking about? Come on. Oh, Articuno, Zapdos, and Moltres are the three legendary bird Pokemon. I heard there are other legendary birds, though. Wow, you're good at battling. Want to add me on your phone card? Sorry, I've got no room. Um, yeah, can't can't do that. Plus, phone call scammy. Come on now. 
Luxury Bowl. Uh, can I? Right, this is just a test. Could Amphros learn Ice Punch? Amphros could not learn Ice Punch. Yeah, Gengar can, which is tight. Okay. But it can learn Fire Punch, so we are going to get rid of uh, Rock Smash back for Fire Punch for this battle. Honestly, maybe Rock Smash will be better, but I want my moveset back how it was. We broke the rock, that's all I really care about. If we need it again, we can just go ahead, put Rock Smash back on for uh, the cave, and then swap back to Fire Punch when we're done. I like that. I really do like that. So, who has the best moveset for Drag? I mean, Sylveon. Absolutely, Sylveon is best for this. Let's go. Okay, Zinnia. Finally, I'm ahead of you. While you were playing Hero, I defeated Price. Now I'll be the next gym to win my last badge. I don't need you around, so this is the end of the road for you. Whoa, whoa, end of the road. Whoa, whoa, buddy. Calm down. Zinnia, Zinnia, listen. I don't know why you're so against me, okay? Goodbye? That's a scary book. Why do you put that down? Put that down. She just, she's not holding the goodbye brain. Are you okay? We're gonna go for one cosmic power. Just one. Mainly because I expect something like Earthquake, and that can do a lot of damage. See? That's a scary move. That's a very, very scary move. I don't like how much damage that did, okay? I really don't. I almost wish I had started with our uh, lovely, trustworthy Slowbro and Mega Evolved it, because Slowbro can't be crit, and crits scare me. Have you ever had the term talking something into existence? Because, uh... Yeah. Yeah. Pretty sure we, uh, we talk that into existence. That sucks. That... That really sucks. Like, on a scale of one to suck, that's a solid not gonna finish that actually, never mind. Um, yeah, that's really unfortunate. Um, okay, Flygon. Again, we're just gonna stay in an Ice Beam, as we probably should have done from the beginning. Crunch. Yeah, that's gonna hurt, but it can't crit me, so it can't kill me. That's fine. Um, yeah. Yeah, that, uh... That's how to really drain my mood really quickly. I don't really know what else to say. I'm, I'm kind of just sad now, to be honest. I was gonna really rely on Sylveon for the next gym. So the next gym just got like, incredibly difficult for no reason whatsoever, which is really, really unfortunate. Uh, plus, I mean, we picked up a Bellsprout instead of like a Ralts. So we don't even have a good replacement. I mean, yeah, we have we have a Togekiss potentially, which I mean, I guess I guess we'll probably take. But uh, yeah, Sylveon would have been would have been real good. Would have been a real good Pokemon. Gudra. Gudra. Okay. Um, that's uh certainly a Pokemon. I think it'll be fine just going into Gengar. Obviously, it can't Mega Evolve Gengar, but it does have Dazzling Gleam. Um, I don't see what it can really do to me. It can protect, I guess, I suppose. That's fine. Um, yeah, we're just gonna Dazzling Gleam and see how much it does. Obviously, Gudra's Special Defense is, like, base 150, so this can do nothing. Yeah. Dragon Breath. That's fine. You know, that's not fine. Because you know why that's not fine? Because a crit will take me out, and I don't want to play that game. So instead, we're just gonna, um... We're, we're just we're just gonna go into Ampharos. Yeah. We're just gonna go into Ampharos. Outrage! Okay. Okay, we got the static off, which is really good. Uh, we're gonna potion up. We just need to breathe. We just need to breathe. This battle is going to be fine. Okay, it's going to be fine. It's going to outrage again. Yeah, that that's going to do a lot of damage. Okay, okay. 
He's now confused. He's confused. He's paralyzed. We have potions. Everything is a-okay. A-okay. We just have to breathe. He's gonna full heal. Did that woke it from its sleep? We're gonna Thunder Wave. Gudra, you're kind of annoying me. Okay, I'll admit. I'll admit you're kind of annoying me. Dragon Breath, Outrage. Okay. Okay. I see you have a lot of Dragon moves, that's fine. You get the Paralysis on the Electro-type. Okay, I, I can't say it like that. And we miss Thunder Whip. What? What? I... Huh? Oh, Thunder Wave is base 90 in this gen? Ew. Oh, that's... That's like the only reason I was going for it was because I could... Okay, right. Um, yeah. Yeah, this is this is unfortunate. We get the Thunder Wave off, though, and we have a full restore, and I am not above using it right now. I'm really not. Okay, I'm not losing another Pokemon. Okay, we just get a full restore. We'll probably be able to buy them at the next town anyway, so it's fine. We can probably buy them a um, Golden Rod as well. Protect, waste your turn. Go ahead. We're just gonna go for strength. It's neutral, hits on the physical side, with all of our uh, 10 base power and physical attack. Yep, that did nothing, okay. Okay, we're just gonna start speeding this up a little bit. Water Pulse. See, it was because I was afraid this thing would have muddy water that I didn't go into Golem, and now I'm incredibly happy with my decision. And he went for a full stop. And that's now rich. This, you know, we can probably swap into Slowbro, to be truly honest. Outrage isn't gonna one-shot us, he can't crit us. It's fine. It's where we have Ice Beam. We should have just been in this Pokemon to begin with. Let's be honest here, this would have been a much safer strategy. I don't know why I ever swapped out of Slowbro. There's no reason. Slowbro is what is gonna carry me through this game. Okay, the next gym, I'm gonna say it right now, Slowbro is soloing it. Slowbro is soloing that entire gym. I, I don't think anyone else is gonna come in to effect at all. Ever. Slowbro is so necessary because it just can't be correct. Just make a Slowbro. It's the only book what I want. I am very, very sad about Sylveon though. I really am. Oh my god. Okay. Right, we've got the freeze and another hyper potion. Do you want to stop? Okay. Okay. Right. I was genuinely wondering if that was ever going to end. Salamence. Here we go. Here we go. Level 47. Hmm. Hmm. It's almost like that Pokemon uh, evolves from Shellgon at level 50, and you had a Shellgon. Hmm. It's almost like it lets fly at level 50. Hmm. <laughs> okay. Uh, fly can't correct me, I'm not scared. Ice Beam is four times super effective. Bye bye, Salamence. So it was nice to know you. One shot? Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, yeah, one shot. Okay, so that is a, uh... yeah, that, that's a thing. Why do you keep beating me? Freaking unbelievable. Now I need to go to the Pokemon Center to heal my Pokemon. Don't even talk to me about needing to go to the Pokemon Center, okay? I need to go to the Pokemon Center to bury my Pokemon. But I still know I'll reach the Pokemon Elite before you. It's only a matter of time. Zinnia, listen, okay, screw you. That's all I have to say. Screw you, Zinnia. You... You ruined everything. You ruined my plan for the next gym. I was gonna sit there in cosmic power. I even set up the cosmic power so that Earthquake would do less just in case it did roughly half. I'm really annoyed. <sighs> we take the lucky egg off of Sylveon, the Pokemon I was preparing to be our ace. Oh yeah, that, that kind of hurts. That kind of hurts. Right, right in like the lower abdomen, you know? Right there. <sighs> Who do we take instead? I mean, we always have Bell Sprout. <sighs> do we just take Gyarados? Do we just say screw it to types and just take Gyarados because Gyarados is reliable? I think we do. It's either we either take Togepi, the Toblerone. 
With his brave nature and hustle. God, I hate hustle. Uh, yeah, I'm not taking a Pokemon with hustle. We're taking Gyarados, okay? We're taking Gyarados with us. That's gonna be the Pokemon that we train up for next episode. It'll be fine, okay? I know it's typing, it's a little bit strange. It is. Uh, it can Mega Evolve though. Something to keep in mind, it can definitely Mega Evolve. And uh, whether we want it to Mega Evolve or not, we will see. But for right now, it's joining the team. And that is where we are rounding things off. So if you guys have enjoyed this episode, leave a like down below, hit that subscribe button, and above further ado, bye!